All righty, get your shower cap or your umbrella ready. Amigos, we're going to have some heavy rain this morning. This is, uh, you know, linked with a bigger storm system that's up to the north. You see that huge area of low pressure that's bringing this soggy and unsettled weather all along the west coast. Now, this system is going to bring the heaviest amount of rain up north, but we're going to get a quick dose of moisture this morning. In fact, when we take a closer look at California, you can see all of the rain in the Central Valley right now and the snow currently accumulating over the Sierra Mountains. We'll zoom in a bit tighter to see what's happening over LA. That rain started overnight and it is here. We had that rain falling for several hours over in Ventura County and LA County where a flood advisory is in effect until 8 a.m. Orange County, you started to see that rain pick up within the past hour and now we're starting to see that rain increase in the Inland Empire. Now the rain is going to be the heaviest during the morning. The afternoon, we're not done with the activity, but it's going to be it's going to be more scattered. So this morning again, and heavy amount of rain and then during the afternoon we'll get some breaks mixed in with a few on and off showers. Now we have also some very high surf at the coast. This is where high surf advisory is in place from today all the way through Saturday morning. So LA Ventura County looking at surf heights between 8 to 12 feet, Orange County from 4 to 9 feet. So there's an elevated risk for ocean drowning and dangerous surfing conditions as well. These large and Breaking waves could also cause some damage to piers and cause beach erosion. So our friends at the coast also have to be vigilant of that. Meanwhile, in the mountains, that's where we have winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories in place from 5 a.m all the way through 10 p.m. Thursday, so through tonight. Above 7,000 feet, we could get up to 18 inches, maybe even two feet. Combine that with winds up to 50 miles per hour. That's causing some reduced visibility, very difficult or impossible to travel up in the mountains. If you have to head up there, make sure you carry the chains. Really avoid traveling there today and tomorrow. Now, we get a break from the storms on Saturday. If you want to head up, look at the fresh new snow or have anybody to visit, you should be okay, but you will have to proceed with caution. And then on Sunday, another day where you have to avoid traveling. And here's the reason why. In our seven-day forecast, we're already tracking another storm system at the tail end of the weekend and through early next week. And that system right now is shaping up to be an even stronger one that could also cause more damaging flooding. And it's going to be a multi-day system. When we take a look at the seven-day, you can see that there's rain in the forecast Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, I know we're still a few days away from that. We need all these weather models to come into better agreement, but we're already keeping an eye on that. It's a big concern when you look at what we have right now. Our rain is really going to saturate the soils. And when you bring in more rain for next week, unfortunately, that's just going to add insult to injury. Now, this afternoon, scattered showers continues for tomorrow. Temperatures remain cool. We get a break on Saturday. And then from Sunday through early next week, that's when we get into that next storm system that could have more rain, unfortunately. The valleys and Inland Empire, rainy, windy this morning. We do have a wind advisory in effect until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Again, we're getting a cold front sweeping through. That's why we have such a heavy, concentrated amount of rain and also some strong winds. For tomorrow, the winds will be lighter, but we'll continue to see the chance for some showers. Saturday, you're okay to venture out without the umbrella, but then we need to bring the umbrella back out on Sunday through early next week. The temperatures will remain cool in the 60s and 50s. It is February the 1st, and it is a soggy start to the month. Today, tomorrow, we have that chance for showers. The heavy rain falling mostly this morning. Saturday, we get a little bit of sunshine. The temperatures remain cool. And then you see the high desert temperatures through next week will be in the 50s and we're going to get rain there as well. And finally, in the mountains, snow there today, tomorrow, Saturday, still looking a little cloudy in the 30s. And then we'll get another round of snow possibly from Sunday through early next week. Our forecast all of a sudden turned very active and you guys need to tune in every day because we have updates. This forecast continues to change and we want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information and download the NBCLA app. That's where you have the power of the First Alert weather team.